Gary Sasson here. Welcome to a video tutorial on how to install Matplotlib and other modules on your computer for Python, um, pretty much any version. Um, I am currently running Windows 10. Uh, you can find it using the same uh, searches and stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, uh, go to System, uh, and then you're going to go to Advanced System Settings and Environment Variables. Once you're there, you must find the path. You might have to scroll down or up a little, and uh, click Edit. Once you click Edit, you're going to want to do C, uh, C colon slash users slash Chris, which you will replace with your username, slash app data slash local slash program slash python slash python 36 is my version, uh, 3.6.1. Yours may be different. Uh, you have to check that. The way you can check that is if you go here, you can go to your PC and search uh, python. And then uh, I'll just do this for this purposes. And python uh, 3.6. Let's just let's just do Python just to start off. So here you go. Uh, that's recent. Um, let's just do that for. Oh, that's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, no, we're going to go back. So it shows you for Python. Uh, once it does, it'll pull up a series of uh, things. So here is uh, three point Python three point five, which I also have on my computer. Um, but there is Python three point uh, three point six on here as well. Once it finally loads. Once you have done that. Uh, you're going to uh, click OK, 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 and you're going to click OK, uh, just exit out. Once you've done that, you're going to do Windows R and uh, run CMD, which is Command. Once you get here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go... So, so I've already done this, so it's going to look different than what yours does, but the principle is the same, and it'll tell you that it's already installed if you have it already installed, which you shouldn't if you're watching this. Uh, you go to Python dash m p uh, p i p install matplotlib. Once you've done that, you're going to hit enter. It's going to say requirement already satisfied, basically saying that I already have it installed. So if you have the, if you get that message, it means it's installed and something went wrong. Uh, maybe you have two versions of Python on your computer. Why does my green screen keep doing that? Um, maybe you have two versions of Python installed and you installed it on one and you're running the opposite one. Um, that could be the case, so you got to check that. Make sure you're installing for the version you're running right version, or else it's not going to work. You have to install it for each version. Um, and then, once you've done that, MapLab is successfully installed. Uh, to show this to you, I'm going... Alright, so uh, actually, back to this. Um, Python 3.6 right here, and then you also have Python 3.5 uh, right here, and 3.5-32 th uh, right there. So that um, shows that that's how you find uh, what version you have on your computer. I have a lot of Python files. Um, so, once you do that, what you want to do is you want to open Python. Uh, this is just kind of, well, you, you can test it. Um, if you want to test it, do, uh, do, uh, Python. No. Wait. Install matplotlib. No. PIP install matplotlib. There is a way to do this, I promise you. Uh, you can check to make sure it's on your uh, Python. But I'm just going to show you by opening up a quick little program that involves matplotlib. Uh, here you go, this uh, import matplotlib.pyplot.plt. Got some dictionaries, got some uh, other functions running the thing. I got this commented out because I haven't figured out how to use 3D scatter plot on subplots with other 2D graphs. Uh, if you know, let me if you know how to do that, let me know, know in the comments below. Uh, so I can do that. Um, be very helpful. Thank you. Uh, if you do, run the module. Bam! You got your graphs right here, and you can move it around and stuff. And uh, yeah, so that is that. Um, and that's basically it for this tutorial. If this helped you, please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, I will try to answer them uh, ASAP. And please be sure to subscribe, and that's it for this uh, video tutorial on how to install Matplotlib and other modules uh, for Python, pretty much any version. And see you on the next video. Peace.